I'm Heather from the Friendship Factory and welcome to the 25 day Christmas craft challenge where we challenge you to make as many crafts as you can for your family and friends this holiday season. Tis the season to not only be jolly but to be crafty because when you make a craft as a gift people love it so much because you put your time, love, energy, and effort into it and that means so much to other people. Today I'm going to teach you how to make dream catchers. These are so easy to make. It was a little daunting at first when I was looking up how to make a dream catcher, how to make this pattern. I was like worried that I couldn't do it but it's super easy and I'm going to show you how to make them today. You can make different Different colors you can put different things on the end and that's what I like about this project dream catchers are great for your locker they're great for your wall they're great for your friends and you can put little images on the bottom of them if you want to you can do whatever you like with them to make your dream catchers you just need a few materials you need a pair of scissors you need some old bangles or anything that is a circular shape that is a ring you can use anything that you can find, but I use bangles because I don't usually wear bangles and I had a bunch of them lying around. These were the easiest thing to do, but they're also smaller, so if you want to make a bigger dream catcher, you can definitely make that with this tutorial. You'll need some either hemp cord or some twine. You can also use any other kind of string, but I feel like this will hold a lot better and if you want to put beads on it, these are the best bet. And then you'll need some kind of yarn. So it just depends on what colors you wanna make. I would just purchase a few different kinds so you can make a bunch of them for your friends or family members. And then you'll need some beads, which you might have some of these from previous projects that we did. And if you don't want beads, you don't have to put them on there, but I think that they look really good. If you want feathers, you can also purchase feathers for this. For my first step, I'm just going to take my bangle and set it down and then take my roll of yarn and measure out a piece that's about arm's length across and cut it off with my scissors and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to wrap this all the way around very tightly around the bangle until it's full so until it's fully covered if you want to show some of the silver or whatever color the bangle is or the ring that you have, you can do that too and just leave a space. But I like the look where it's tight and put together. So just keep doing that until you get to the end. After I get it wrapped, which I used a sparkly black yarn, I am going to get out my hemp cord and cut off a piece that's about arm's length long, just like I did for the yarn. Your first step is to tie the twine or the hemp cord onto wherever you want the top of your dream catcher to be in just a double knot. And then you're going to take it across to where you would like it because we're going to do a pattern all the way around. So you're going to take it across and it's going to go over the top of the bracelet and then you're just going to wrap it around the bottom and then through the center just like this. So through the center of this half circle. And then you're going to pull it over this way pull it over the top of the bracelet underneath through this hole right here in the center and up through and it seems a little bit confusing at first but it's not so make sure you put spaces in between so it makes the web shape so you're going to go over the top of the bracelet with the twine underneath and then through the circle, up through the circle towards the top and pull it all the way through. Across the top, underneath and through the half circle.
See how it's starting to make a pattern? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. So I'm gonna do two more for the outer shell. So for the next part, so to make the rest of the web, you're just gonna keep on doing the same pattern, but you're going to go over the top of this line right here, in through the center, and then the center of the line you just made. So see how it pulls it down like that? It pulls right down on it. So you're gonna do that to the next circle. And what it does is it makes it into a triangular shape, just like that. And then we're gonna go across to the next big piece. You're gonna go over top of the string. You're gonna go through the hole. And then over top of the string you just made. And it makes it into a triangle. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. At first, it's a little confusing, but if you have any questions about it, you can always post a comment below. When you think you're at the end and you've made the full web, so it looks really pretty to you. You're just going to tie a simple knot around that last piece, wherever you can to kind of hide it and make it look like it was supposed to be there. Your next step is to attach some yarn to the bottom of your dream catcher. So just choose a few spots on there and put as much yarn on there. I chose a purple and black theme because this is for my little sister and I feel like she'd really like that. And I'm just going to tie a simple knot around where I want the bottom of the dream catcher to be. And I'll double knot it so that it stays. And then I can attach a bunch of these and make it as long as I want to. Make it look kind of even. And then I'm going to stick some beads on there and make it look really cute. I got my dream catcher all done. All I did was I tied a loop for the top so that I could hang it onto something. Make sure that if you don't understand how to make this pattern, you just post a comment below and I'll comment back and help you out with it. Um, I can also post some pictures too if you're confused at all. This is a really fun project to make and you can customize it any way you'd like and it's a lot of fun. Um, this took me probably about 15 minutes to make each one. If you make a bigger one it's going to take much longer and if you put beads on it it'll take a lot longer but it just depends on how you want to make it. I really can't stay, I've got to go make some really cool crafts tonight. <laughs> okay, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the craft we made today. Make sure this Christmas you show the ones in your life how much you really love them by making a do-it-yourself gift from one of these craft challenges. It's so much fun when you see the look on their face when you say, I made that myself and then they're like really super impressed. It's awesome. So if you made this craft today, just post your photo below. I'd love to see it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.